Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in on the radio dial in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM, we welcome you all to our program. As well as tuning in online through our various affiliates around the world, we're glad to have all of you with us as well. I'm excited to welcome Tommy Laude to our program today. Now, Tommy is not only an entrepreneur, but an individual who's definitely aware of the world around him. He's the creator of the brand, The Other Danish Guy. We're going to tell you more about that, but also what it's been like for him to learn, to grow, and to show his appreciation for what's going on in the world by being able to create something that we can be able to learn from as well as appreciate. If you're just not hearing about Tommy and the other Danish guy, we'll tell you at the end of our segment how you can stay connected with him. But Tommy, hello to you and welcome to the program. Uh, hi. Hi, Cyrus. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine, Tommy. Tell me, one of the things that first caught my attention when I started following you on Twitter is a quote that you have in your profile on Twitter, and that says, I never lose, I either win or learn. It's all about state of mind. And I think that is such a great attitude to have, not only as an entrepreneur, but someone who appreciates what's happening in the world. How have you found that quote to be able to help you as you've been able to build your business? Yeah, actually, that, that is a quote from Nelson Man- late Nelson Mandela. Uh, but I, I I took it because uh, so it, it, I I felt it so deep so deeply in my like it was about ten years ago I was I was an um, uh, head of planning in an ad ad agency and and uh, I was quite unsatisfied with my job really I I really didn't didn't like to do what what I did and uh, uh, luckily for me. Uh, the financial crisis in 2008 ended that career, so I, I needed to, to to come up with something else, and uh, uh, I started uh, to start, uh, think think about uh, starting my own business, uh, to run my own business. But uh, like in in times of recession, deep recession, it, it wasn't that easy. So I was struggling with my with myself. So uh, that. <laughs> Uh, kind of, I, I I had so much, like um, how do you say it? So like a, a fear of failure. I, I right. uh, so on the other side, I I I I had a so great fear of failure, and then on the other side, I had a will to win. So and these two sides were struggling on me inside, and then um, I just decided, well, what the hell? Uh, I'm just gonna go and and see what where it leads and uh, right. uh after several years uh i uh, after running my my own business and it, well, of course it was quite successful but i had hard times but i still had this state of mind that i can there is no such thing that losing or or failure there is just winning or learning i have learned a lot right yeah, you've learned a lot, and you have not been afraid to both apply what you've learned, Tommy, as well as share what you've learned. I read the article that you did for the Huffington Post as I was prepping for this segment today, and mm-hmm. one of the things that I learned about you, because this is our first time talking, is that you've always yeah. had an appreciation for the world around you, especially when it comes to the ocean and the water. Do you think that appreciation mm-hmm. is also what made you more aware of the problems that were going on in the world and what needed to be solved? Yeah, actually, because um, I kind of thought that, that uh, of course, I can go on and on and whining, uh, whine about things, and then and tell kind of people that, that so many things are wrong, and and do what most people do, or I would might I, I might do something on my own. And uh, I have, yes, I have a, a great love for the oceans and seas. Basically, I've, I was born on seas. And, 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 uh, and uh, looking what, what, happen, what has, has happened to seas, like in, in the last 25 years, it's kind of a heartbreaking. And that's why yeah. I, I chose 
the material for our underwear. And and that was the other thing that I got from that article in the Huffington Post that you did, Tommy, the question, what could I actually do? And you found an answer to that through the other Danish guy. Well, first of all, how did you come up with the name? Yeah, that's a, a quite long story, but so we were in a, on a business trip in New York a uh, few years ago with my ex-colleague and... and uh, after running in Central Park, early morning run, which is a kind of a near on, on everyone's New York bucket list, so uh, we he was having some severe problems in his uh, rear paw, rear end, and uh, mm-hmm. and um, kind of his his butt was so chafed that it kind of a uh, the kind of a uh, went through the whole week. It it ruined almost ruined the whole business trip. And um, mm. uh, at the end of the week, he ended up, he thought it was a good idea to, to start applying creams and lotions and stuff uh, on his shaved butt in a in, um, 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 ladies' room in Manhattan, so in, in, in a fancy bar's ladies' room. And the barmaid asked that there was a mayhem because he got caught, of course, and then um, uh, after the mayhem, the the barmaid just shouted, "Yeah, the, I think the other Danish guy is having some problems there." And uh, yeah, uh, they thought we were Danish, and then it's not Finnish, which was actually quite good because. <laughs> sorry, right. at, at that time, yeah. But uh, after it, it first, it was a joke, and then after a year or, or one and a half year, so it it turned out to an idea, and then then turned out to business, and then we picked the name for the brand and. I guess that was the kind of obvious name. Yeah. Right, right, the other Danish guy. I thank you so much for sharing that story. We're going to talk more about the other Danish guy here in a bit. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. I'm excited to welcome Tommy Lade to our program today. He's not only an individual who's passionate about the environment, but also a passionate entrepreneur as well. He's been able to bring those two passions together with the other Danish guy, the brand that we were just talking about. Now, I mentioned the Huffington Post article uh, that you were able to do, Tommy, but even before that, even going back to last year, the buzz was already swirling about what you were creating. I mean, what was that like for you to see the way that people were talking about it and were interested in what you were doing? Uh, of course, that felt like great because it, it, we knew all, all the time from the beginning that we, we actually, even if we would make the best underwear in the world, we couldn't possibly compete the other the existing brands so that we can beat them with their own on their own field and uh, uh, of course we do good underwear and then they are kind of a premium quality and so, so on but uh, uh, I'm a brand guy and I, I, I love brands and uh, that is basically the only thing I can do really I, I can't sue I can't create any any software or something like that i'm <laughs> I, I just love brands and i just love to create brands and 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 um i decided that that the other danish guy will be a uh, uh the the best first layer brand in the world and in order to do that we we need we needed to come come up with something else that is is greater than just the product and uh, we we came up with an idea about self confidence because that's the the first layer of confidence that 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 is where the confidence really begins uh, on the mm-hmm. first layer. So ladies know this for ages. Yeah. Guys just are learning this. Yeah, and it felt and, and like, I- like good to see that it resonates. Right, right. And and I've seen, like I said, not only have I seen articles, you know, written about it in the mirror, um, you've been doing even uh, even uh, TV spots about it, uh, uh, Tommy. I saw an episode, yeah. I think, of you on the show, the chat uh, about it. Um, yeah. You know, do you find that a lot of people are really fascinated by the idea of really that old saying that one man's trash can become another man's treasure? Yeah, actually, the, the, that is, we live in times that, that we are running out of resources on Earth, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, creating a product 
which requires like um, synthetic material, plastics. So it wasn't that easy decision. So, but when I when I saw that there is a possibility to do uh, to to do exactly the same quality and even better quality with regenerated nylon, so which is uh, made with uh, discarded fishing nets and, and stuff uh, or some garbage. So it felt the best idea ever. So we yeah. we, we went that road. Yeah. And it's something that has worked for you. Now, I, I want to go back. I mentioned that quote earlier from your uh, mm-hmm. Twitter page, uh, Tommy, because I think it ties in well with what you've done with um, the mm-hmm. other Danish guy. I mean, this is something, of course, that no one's ever done before like this. I mean, so, of course, there's the mm-hmm. idea exactly. of, yeah, I mean, how will people respond to it? Uh, how did you keep the fear from, um, well, maybe I should say this. How did you not allow fear to stop you in, in creating this? Because it is something so new good question i don't know i, I i'm not i'm not very concerned and, and um uh, about um uh, about losing anymore i'm i'm willing to hmm. uh, so i'm prepared to lose as well so i have really i have nothing to lose and uh hmm. and that this sort of thing that keep me, keeps me going really uh the the uh, because <laughs> even if I lose, so so what? So I have learned a lot, and even if this would go down today, so I, I would be grateful that I, I had the oppo- opportunity to do this. But uh, I think at the same time, this kind of a state of state of mind keeps me going and and pushing forward and and and, and uh, doing things that matter. And uh, yeah. There has to be yeah. some significance in and 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 not just doing underwear, but creating things that then helping people to trust themselves and feel confident. That is my goal, right. goal. I and mean, it keeps me going. Yeah. And you've been able to literally touch people around the world. I was on your Facebook page, uh, Tommy, and uh, I saw individuals there, you know, holding the, you know, the canister uh, with the underwear. How does that make yeah. you feel to see your work uh, traveling even here in the States? It feels great. It feels awesome. And, 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 and I, like two years ago or three years ago when starting this, this, this kind of a in, initiative, then, uh, uh, it wasn't even on my on my wedding dreams, really. <laughs> so that that, mm. that someday there will be all, the people wearing these all around the globe. At the at the moment, we sell for like 25 countries in the world, and uh, we got a lot of, lots of feedback that these are really the best on these they ever worn, and and that feels that feels so good that the, almost brings me tears every time when I think about, think about it. Right. How has social media, because I've mentioned your Facebook, I've mentioned your Twitter, and, and on Twitter they can find you just at Tommy Lade, and that's T-O-M-M-I-L-A-H-D-E. On, on uh, Facebook they can look you up under the other Danish guys, so we definitely invite them to like the page. Over 3,000 have done that on Facebook. Uh, how has social media helped you, Tommy, in, in spreading the word? It is actually been quite helpful and i i could have uh, not done it so like 10 years or 50 years ago because without the social media it, it's uh, it's kind of a on the the traditional way was so much slower or much more expensive uh way to spread the word but now we we also we also can can interact with people that see if this our core message or or the core value what we have about self confidence if it resonates or not and um uh, when it resonates with people we get instant feedback from the social media so it, so that we we can interact with our our uh, customers so on a daily basis and that right. helps a lot because it helps us to develop and and to to, to talk like they want us to talk to them so I like it's not that top down anymore that 
to we just create something and and hope it will land somewhere right do you do you feel as an entrepreneur uh, Tommy that the underwear part of it is just um the beginning um that that there will be other maybe t-shirts and things that also come from this uh i don't know really so um i've been working with with great brands i have the opportunity to work with with great fashion brands as well and uh, uh as a consul- as a brand consultant and um i think they've all at certain point they have all uh made false decisions uh in order to, uh, so in in terms of stretching the brand and try to do different things and 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 uh, feel confident about the yeah okay our brand will stretch in that direction and so on and um when we started the brand uh i kind of had a, a very stubborn idea that we are sticking and we are focusing on the first layer only no okay. not not on the on the on the t-shirts hoodies and stuff t-shirts yeah they are for first layer so there might be t-shirts one day but okay. you never know yeah right Okay, so it definitely gives us something to be able to look forward to, Tommy, for sure, as the, as, uh, the, the other Danish guy continues to make its way around the world, definitely starting yeah. with the underwear. That is what our audience can be looking out for. Now, I mentioned mm-hmm. Facebook. I mentioned Twitter. Where is the best place for people to go, Tommy, to find out more information and to be able to get the underwear for themselves? Uh, in U.S., we just opened the U.S. site today, actually. It was like a... Uh, the goal to, to to open the U.S. online store uh, with the dollar prices and so on. Uh, it's the other day in the sky dot com, uh, and uh, yeah. and there there there's the the U.S. site where people can order and and see what we got and 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 uh, send us messages and just stuff like yeah. Okay. Oh, so the other DanishGuy.com. We definitely want to invite our audience to go there. Uh, make sure you all again are staying connected with Tommy on Twitter as well as following the Facebook page again. Uh, as I said, to search for the other Danish guy on Facebook, you can be able to like the page there. Tommy, congratulations to you and thank you so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Cyrus. It was ple- my pleasure to talk to you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, the pleasure is definitely on mine. We definitely want to thank our good friend Zach Tepperman for setting up this conversation with us for today. And thank all of you for tuning in to another edition of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. You all make it a great one.